One of the biggest challenges facing not just business owners, but everyone, is the loss of time and money due to multitasking. In this video, I'm going to revisit my popular myth of multitasking exercise. I'm Dave Crenshaw, and this is Chaos Versus Entrepreneur. Now, in my book, The Myth of Multitasking, I explain that multitasking is really just a non-existent word. What really happens is either background tasking or switch tasking. To save time on this video, I'm going to put the definition of each below this video. What you need to know, though, is that switch tasking, which most people think of when they say multitasking, is a thief. It is a thief of time, it is a thief of money, it is a thief of your sanity. And you're going to experience firsthand what I mean in this little exercise. Now, you'll need to download and print out the exercise PDF that we have on this page, or if that's too hard to do, you can simply take a piece of paper, turn it sideways, and draw three lines across it so that you have a piece of paper with four rows. Now, what we're going to do is a timed exercise, so don't start until I say go. You're going to recopy in the first row the phrase, switch tasking is a thief. And then in the second row, you're just going to write the numbers 1 through 21. So we're going to time this together. Get your paper and your pencil ready. Get set and go. Five seconds. 10 seconds. 15. 20. We'll go 10 more. 25. And 30. Okay, most people should be done by this point. Now write down your approximate time. Now we're going to do this again, but we're going to simulate switch tasking, which is trying to perform multiple active tasks at the same time, such as uh, talking on the phone while answering email. You're going to, again, recopy in the third row the phrase, switch tasking is a thief. But for every letter that you write, you're going to write a number in the fourth row. So you will write S, and then one, and then W, and then two, and so on until you complete the phrase, switch tasking is a thief, and the numbers one through 21. Get your paper and your pencil ready, and we're gonna time this again. Get ready, get set, and go. Five seconds. 10 seconds. 15, 20, 25, 30, this is where we were when we stopped last time, 35, 40, 45, 50 seconds, we'll go 10 more, 55, and 60, and stop there, if you don't have it done, just give up. You've experienced the three effects of switch tasking. Number one, the amount of time it takes to complete things increases, in some of your cases, up to twice as long as the first time. Number two, the quality of the work decreases. Take a look at the two different times you wrote these phrases and numbers. Some of you ended up on a number other than 21. Some of you started to switch which row you were writing. Some of you just had bad handwriting, but it decreases the quality. In business, this causes the business to lose money through mistakes. And then number three, you might have to think about this a bit, but if you consider the first time and the second time, you'll realize that the second time most of you experienced much more stress. All of these costs make switch tasking a thief, and it is something to be avoided. 
And so I would like to ask you this question to wrap up the video. What's one thing you're going to do today to make sure that you focus while you're working on your tasks rather than switch tasking? Please comment below. And also, if you've got a question you'd like me to answer in a future edition of Chaos vs. Entrepreneur, please ask that below as well. Thanks for watching and stay focused.